How's it going? I'm Matt and I do product design here at Veris Engineering and today I'm going to show you some of the CAD process that goes into designing our side splitters. In this case we're going to look at the GR86. So the first step in developing a product like this is to bring the car into the shop and 3D scan the whole car. So once we've scanned the car we have a good reference that we can use to both design the shape of the side splitters and figure out how we're going to mount it securely to the car. So if you take a look at the screen here, I've got our 3D scan of the car. It includes um, a little more than half of the body of the car on the top and the bottom, as well as exhaust, suspension, and in this case we've got some of the lift arms showing up as well. These little patches here are a reference for the ground plane that we use for setting up our CFD models. Not really too important here. So this is the actual model of the side splitter. It's just a 2D part, so there's not really a whole lot to show, but can highlight some of the sketches and things that go into the part. But really what we're looking for here is the locations of any factory mounts that we can reuse. And we can also use this scan to plan out any additional mounts we need to add um, we've gone for kind of a unique profile on the outside shape here that just kind of mimics some of the factory body lines and gives the splitter a nice sharp edge. Um, the side splitters are probably aerodynamically one of the least interesting parts that we make, but they do a really good job of tying the look together of the car um, when you've got the front splitter and the rear splitter. It, uh, it kind of gives that complete look from front to back. So all of our side splitters are cut in-house here at Veris Engineering and uh, once we finish with the design of this part it goes on to the CAM or computer aided manufacturing and that's where we'll program the part to be cut out of a sheet on our CNC router. All right so now that Matt's done with his job we are gonna go throw it on the router in virtual world which is our CAM software. So basically I have a sheet which is located right here, highlighted there, and then we have some side splitters and three rear spats. And we're going to throw some tool paths on those parts to cut them out of our sheet. Uh, it's overall fairly simple, but we do it all in-house here at Veris. So we actually design, prototype, manufacture, simulate, test, all of the above. This is the uh, tool path. So we're actually going around the part a few times. We're obviously cutting out some slots and then the external profile. We have some specific feeds and speeds that we use for our materials and the tools that we use. Let's head over to the router and get these things cut. All right, so at this point, we've already gone through the CAD. We like the design. We've done some CFD. We like how it performs on the computer and in the simulation. We've also then put it onto the router in CNC world, which is CAM computer-aided manufacturing, and we've put tool paths to the parts. So now we're over at the router. We're basically going to get a plastic sheet onto the router. We're going to suck it down. We're going to cut it out with some tool bits and see how it looks on the car. Let's get after it. All right, so at this point, we've loaded the program, which means we have the numerical G-code installed in the control box. We're going to hit go, and we're going to watch the router basically suck the plastic sheet to the table and then cut it out the parts that we need cut out. All right guys, so we have finished machining them. We've installed it on our shop car. Now we're gonna go enjoy them on the street. Yeah. 